Now come, come. You look so serious. Thank you. Why are you so serious? Huh? Uh, it was a very long day. You know, I'm just tired. Oh, okay. So you don't have all of the flowery energy like, ah. <laughs> uh, no, just a few bad things happen, so maybe that's why I'm serious. Oh, well, that kind of, I don't like when people have bad days. Because I don't like when I have a, when I have something bad happen in my day. Hey, so I'm from the U.S. I'm from Chicago. Yeah. Cool. And I live here now. So. Yeah, so I'm Hungarian. No, I live here. That's what I said. Hi. Yeah, I live here. Now. You're Hungarian, yes. How long have you been living here? Since last year. University or something like that or work. work. Actually, I'm just going to clear my mind right now and... Oh, so you would like to be alone? No, uh, one of my friends would come just after a few minutes, I think so. Okay. He would grab a glass of red wine because that is the cure for everything. What? <laughs> alcohol is the cure? No, not the alcohol, a glass of red wine. Oh, okay. There's difference. I guess I hate red wine, so I don't know. Really? Like the cure for me is literally meditation, but I yeah, hate uh, fucking red I wine. I do meditate every day, but there are some times when meditation is just a tiny, you know, different differentiation. I mean. Maybe you need to breathe differently because it, it works so well for me. It works so well, but then, you know, not all the time. So I really feel that right now I need that kind of red wine because that is the magical cure. And you have your friend there. And have you ever, no, my friend is another, he is another, no, 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 I cannot speak, sorry, I'm just too tired. So, he is in another wine bar right now and he would come later a bit. Oh, okay, because I thought it was, I thought you meet. you need to say you're meeting a friend right now? Uh, you're meeting a friend right now, yeah? yeah. To have yeah. to have red wine, didn't you say that? Yes, my, my friend would come to stay later, yeah. Yeah, that's what I said, you're meeting a friend right now, so you'll have your friend there and the red wine, which will make it extra better. <laughs> Am I right? Well, the thing is that he right now is another wine bar, oh, okay. and he is drinking a the wine there. Mm. And he would come ten minutes later to that wine bar where then I am going. Oh, where are you going? Because the previous wine bar is just so hot and crowded, so that's why I decided to come there, and he would just follow me to the vino. No, oh. there is a better one. A better one than the vino? Yes. You know a better one than the vino? Absolutely. The ah. zero point seven to five bistro is the name, and it is on the Basilica Square. So I'm going there. And actually I'm a wine advisor, as, I mean, as a hobby, I also did a course, the wine tasting course. So that's why this is a cure for me. Have you ever tried the Hungarian wines? Uh, is it called Spritz? Is that it? Is it Spritzer? Spritzer? Well, oh, the Hungarian wine. Is it the one that you put, no, you could, no, uh, you could, the uh, the... Fritsch. Yeah, Fritsch, that's what I'm thinking of. Is it, is it that? Uh, I've no. had that. That's no, that's the, okay. The Hungarian culture is extremely. I mean, the Hungarian wine culture is extremely rich, and we have 22 or 23 wine regions. So you really need to just explore this kind of beauty that wine can give to. I mean, for me, drinking red wine is not just you know a kind of a habit. It's kind of an art. <coughs> so you've turned it into something totally different. Mm, that's really really cool because I yeah. would never ever think of wine as an art. I always think of like ah, disgusting. Maybe you have never tasted so quality wines. Maybe the quality ones are the ones I hate. Well, well, rare wine I, I would say I haven't I haven't I haven't had one yet that I like. But white wine I've definitely had some that I like. Though. Mm. I see. Well, I don't know because. I think it's always a uh, book, giving it a try. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, I love trying new things, so. <laughs> when you're, um, so obviously one of your passions and one of your lovely love, loves in your life mm -hmm. is wine. What's another love in your life? Uh, there are so many. One of my passions is uh, psychology. I started psychology in university. So, 
the relationship of the wine culture. The third one is um, reading and improving myself. And so the seven. third one is what? And men's clothing also. <laughs> A men's what? Men's clothing. As my passion, I love uh, fond of men's clothing. Oh, men's clothing. Yeah. Oh, I'm like, what? Did, I don't know what you were saying. Men's clothing, wine, and psychology. Yeah, and self improvement, and foreign languages and cultures. <laughs> Fuck, man, you're a really smart girl. Oh. I like that. Very nice. Yeah, that really is. Like you, it takes somebody for me to call somebody smart based on what they do and how they feel about it mm. yeah so you sound like you have because I said what's your love and you said oh so many so you actually love these things you don't just you don't just kind of dabble in it mm -hmm. yeah well, you've Crowded. Of course, it's summer. We should have come earlier. I mean, me, but I was well. Yeah. <laughs> I just accepted today a kind of a translation job. It is just a one week job. Yeah. Uh, and I need to translate uh, organizational development research in work from Hungarian to English. And it's quite complicated. Mm. I don't first. think you're not gonna walk over this, are you? You have yeah, on heels. I'm coming here. You have on heels. Oh, I thought you were gonna walk on this thing here. I'm like, <laughs> like that wouldn't be a smart idea. Okay. Uh, I know you're gonna go now, but so far. Oh, I think it is also crowded, but you'll find a place though. So far, I you think you're a lovely girl though. You can also join actually if you would like to. But if I, if I if I if I join now though, that mean when he comes, I'll leave. No, it's it's absolutely okay. He's a <laughs> one of the best friends of mine, so just one of the best friends of yours. Yes, yes. Uh, he's a um, British guy from Newcastle, yeah. so he's over fifty and a great friend. Over fifty? Yeah. Really? Yeah, but he's just so amazing. Like he just you know amazing personality. Mm. So we can just grab a wine here, and then we can. I think we might go to the IMP International Meeting Point. What is that? It's a kind of an event where so many expats and tourists and Hungarians who are, you know, fond of languages and etc. just gather, have a kind of party or something like that, just grab some drinks. Mm. Have you heard about this? The, no, I haven't. It is organized uh, uh, a place called Ankert. Old Kurt? And Kurt? Yeah. Is that on the water? Is that on the water? Uh, that place? No, actually. Oh, okay. it's, I don't know where it is actually. I mean, exactly, but uh, it's not so far from the city center. Do you have I'm a boyfriend? No. You don't? No. You are an intelli intelligent woman and beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. That's so great. It is. Well, um, I can join. I can join you for <coughs> a little bit. Here.